Hi guys and welcome back to the Oklahoma Girls Kitchen. I'm Angie Ellison. I was Alabama born and Oklahoma raised and have I got a lot of recipes for you. Two of them today are smoked sausage with white bean stew and beer batter muffins. Does that not sound hearty? So let's get started on that white bean stew. Okay, we have 14 ounces of smoked sausage. I got the turkey sausage and I'm just gonna slice it in small pieces because we're gonna brown it in two tablespoons of olive oil. got our sausage all cut up and like I said I got turkey sausage but you could get Tobasa sausage you could get mesquite you could get jalapeno whatever you, you like best we're gonna go ahead and put it over here in our pot in two tablespoons of olive oil and we're gonna brown this really good okay we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get our smoked sausage into our two tablespoons of olive oil going to stir this around really good. We just want it to brown up on both sides. It's probably going to take it about five or six minutes to brown real good. And then we're going to take it out on a plate and set it to the side until we're ready again for it once we get all of our other vegetables in. So we've got our smoked sausage all browned up, and we're just going to take these out and put them on a plate because we're going to put our other vegetables in to soften them up, and then these will go back in a little bit later. And the drippings on the bottom of this is just going to give those vegetables that we're about to put in a little extra flavor. Go. Okay, so let's go ahead and get our vegetables in. We have got a... Oh my goodness, does it smell so good already. We've got carrots and celery and onion. Oh, it just smells so wonderful in here. Okay, so we've got our onion and our celery and our carrots in here. We're gonna stir these around and just kind of let them soften up about probably five or six minutes because I did cut these small, so it's not gonna take them that long. And after we kind of get these a little brown, then we're gonna go ahead and add our other good stuff. So let's just kind of move these around. We've got our chicken broth, our three cans. And we're going to pour this in first. It is smelling just out of this world. You know, it's a cold, rainy day here today. So this is a perfect stew for today. Nothing any better. We've got our three cans of Great Northern Beans. And these are drained and rinsed. Stir those around. And then we've got three cans of whole tomatoes. I did drain these and I did just kind of chop them up a little bit because they're easier to chop up now than they are after you get them in the pot. We're gonna go ahead and move these around. Then we have got a small can of corn. The corn is optional, really. If you don't want corn, you don't have to use it. You could use hominy. You could not use anything at all as far as corn. But I like it because it's good. I'm a corn girl. And I think it adds beauty to this stew. We have got one teaspoon of garlic powder, a quarter teaspoon of dried thyme, one teaspoon of onion powder, and then we 
have got three cloves of chopped garlic or minced garlic, whichever way you want to do it, the three cloves. Okay, so we have got our soup all together. The only thing that we haven't added to this, and we're going to, besides our turkey sausage, is our kale. Kale is such a good vitamin K vegetable. I love it, my family loves it, but if that's not something that you like, then hey, you can just leave it out. So we're gonna go ahead and get our smoked sausage back in. I'm telling you, this is a sight for your eyes. It is such a beautiful stew. It is a perfect stew. It's got your corn, it's got your carrots, it's got your celery, it's got your sausage, it's got your tomatoes, it's gonna have your kale in it, it's got your white beans in it. I mean, how much healthier could you be, right? And taste good. We're ready for our kale now. Our beautiful kale, which I love. And I'm really excited for you to see how pretty this is gonna be. You know, it calls for eight cups of kale, and that seems like a lot, I know, but honestly, it's not, because it wilts down, and it wilts down a lot, kind of like spinach and your other greens like that. So once it wilts down, it's not gonna be much in it at all. So, so we're gonna give it a good stir, kind of get all that kale down in there. Then we're gonna cover it up and we're gonna let it simmer for about 30 to 40 minutes. Everything is pretty much cooked in this already. So we just want it to heat through really good. And then we're gonna start those beer muffins. You are going to love them. Well, we're ready to start our beer battered muffins. And I don't know if you've ever had beer battered muffins, but if you haven't, this is certainly a treat. They are a more dense muffin. They are a little heavier muffin, but they are so, so good and so simple. So we're gonna start with four cups of just a baking mix. And you're just not gonna believe how simple these are and how good they are. You know, I've had them with just about every kind of stew that there is and soup that there is and they are wonderful. I've had them with potato soup. I've had them with the broccoli and cheese soup. I've had them with vegetable soups, um, beef stew, whatever. Any of those things, they're just perfect with it. Kind of reminds me of being a little denser and heavier like cornbread. And I am a cornbread girl. Being from Alabama, we love our cornbread. But this right here would be my second choice, without a doubt, for a soup or a stew. So we've got our four cups of baking mix. We've got two tablespoons of sugar. And then we have our beer. Now, the beer I suggest you use is a medium to dark beer. I would not use the light beer. You're not gonna get the color in the muffins and you're not gonna get the taste. So I'm using a dark beer, which I think is absolutely perfect. And we're just gonna pour this in. And you hear that foamy sound? That means that's good stuff and it's gonna be working really well in there and coming together. Okay, we're ready to start getting all of this incorporated. And we are gonna have some wonderful muffins. I am just so excited for these muffins. Every time I make them, I get excited because I wanna try one when it comes right out of the oven, first of all, with some butter, before I ever have it with a stew or with my soup. You know, it just kinda calls my name. And when it calls my name, well, I mean, you just gotta answer, right? So we're gonna get this mixed up really good. And I can smell this beer, but remember, this beer is gonna be baked in, okay? So they're called beer muffins, and they are, but it's gonna 
all be baked in and tasting good. So let's go ahead and get these into our baking pan. Already, and I'm ready to get these in here and get them going. Like I said, this is a denser muffin, a heavier muffin. I have to clean my muffin pan up because I'm making a mess with it, but that's okay. There's nothing wrong with making a mess. And when these come out, they're going to be a beautiful brown. And you can tell that they're done on top when you touch them because they'll just kind of bounce right back. So, you know, to sneak one when it first comes out, I say that's a cook's choice. But I am ready. <clears throat> so you can see that this batter even looks thicker than most batters do. And it really is. So you know when you see a batter this thick, it's going to be Once you have these, you're going to want them again and again when it comes to stew and cornbreads and all that kind of stuff. This will be your favorite bread. Okay, so we're ready to pop them in the oven and get these going. I've got my oven. It was preheated at 375 and they're going to go for about, I would say, 10 to 11 minutes. You can look at the tops of them. They should be nice and brown and they will bounce back when you touch them. So we're going to have us some muffins here shortly to go with our stew. Time has come so we can try these. First of all, I want you to look at the muffins. See what I was telling you about? They're a little denser muffin, heavier, but so, so good. And the stew, I want you to see these colors. The kale, the tomato and everything. Oh, the smell is just so awesome. I don't know how excited you are, but I can tell you I am overly excited. This stew smells so wonderful. If you could just smell it, it's incredible. And it's just one of those rainy days that it's perfect for it. I know this is extremely hot, but it's so good. I can't hardly wait to try it. Mm. It is hot. For sure. Another success. No doubt about it. This is the perfect food for any day, but especially today. And these beer muffins, for you guys that love cornbread and any kind of bread, you're going to absolutely love the beer muffins. Get in your kitchen and try it. It's going to be another collecting recipe to the ones you already have. You're going to think it's the most awesome ever. I do. And until I see you guys next week, and I know you're going to be back, best dishes from the Oklahoma Girls Kitchen. Bye, y'all.